Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. I want to share with you today from uh, Psalm 56 verse 3, which is the verse or one of the verses that Amanda references to in her little part of the devotional uh, that is done by Scribbles on My Heart. It's called God in the Chaos and Lord. <laughs> oh, he knows the the chaos that is around us everywhere and whether you're in the states whether you're in the uk whether you're in south africa there's chaos and god is just the god who triumphs above and he is still god in the chaos and uh, amanda shares her little testimony with some scripture references and she specifically references to this verse that her mother used to quote um, in Psalm 56, verse 3. And it says that when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. So does that mean <laughs> that now all of a sudden I've got all the answers? No, it absolutely does not. Um, the only thing that it does mean is that we can trust God for the today. Not just... <laughs> You know, we, we so often want to kind of run ahead of God and say in the tomorrow, it'll be OK. But for today, in the midst of the chaos, he is still God. I ring bound my little devotional and I went through that specific uh, day or part by Amanda. And I just wanted to use this beautiful paper. Uh, these ink effects I cannot do to save my life. <laughs> Plus, I don't have the inks and the, you know, cell creators and all of that beautiful stuff that comes with pouring and, and even with alcohol inks. So I'm so grateful to uh, Scrolls on My Heart and her contributors for this devotional. And I wanted to stamp out these letters or the key words for me um, from uh, using the elemental alphas from By the Well for God that I have. And then I've just scribbled some gelatas to the side of the camera <laughs> on a non-stick surface. Um, and I think this is the licorice black, actually. And I am picking it up with a flat brush and, oh sorry, it's the peppercorn from the Translucence range. <laughs> picking it up with a flat brush and some water. And I wanted to recreate that black and white striped paper that's in this uh, printable. wanted it just a bit bigger. Um, and then I probably wanted the alphas bigger too, but you can still see the beautiful um, art work behind it. And so I'm going to be uh, oh, stamping, stamping. I've already stamped and cut out, <laughs> fussy cut. I'm going to be gluing these letters onto my page. Um, and the words are afraid and trust and you. And then I'm going to take a bit of artist pen in a chisel nib or a calligraphy nib and I'm going to put it uh, the other parts of the verse in. And it's such a uh, short, in my home language Afrikaans we say uh, kernvers, a kort krachtige kernvers. Uh, it just means short, to the point um, and powerful. <laughs> so... Uh, this verse doesn't, or the, even the words, I didn't want to journal a whole bunch of extra. We all have a verse that kind of gets us through that difficult time. And Amanda references to that in her um, little devotional. And for me, one of my, my, my verses that helped me through these things is Psalm 61, verse 2 to 4, where it speaks of, When my heart is troubled within me, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And so I really just wanted to focus on the essence of this verse. When I am afraid, what do I do? I put my trust in who? In him. <laughs> There's nothing else. No human ability. Uh, no, no government. No, no anything that we can put our trust in like we can put our trust in God. Um, does he appoint? Yes, he does. Does he guide and, you know, see through those people who need to make decisions? Yes, he does. Am I putting my trust in man? No, I'm not. I'm putting my trust in God. He is alone able 
to do that which is needed for our country and our countries and our world to move ahead. Now that's a whole bunch, but thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.